Hi, goaltenders, Ed Walsh here. Real excited to bring you our first episode of drills that you can do while you're hunkered down with this pandemic. They're gonna to be tough, but you're gonna love them. We have our two people that are helping us, our test track dummies. Cam Walsh is here, Gabe McHugh's here. Gabe, highly intense athlete and player, focus in on him hard. Uh, he's so intense, he wears his helmet on the bus. I want to introduce you to Matt McHugh. He's our off-ice specialist at the Ed Walsh Hockey Schools. Take it away, Matt. Hi, I'm Matt McHugh. I've been a strength and conditioning coach for about 20 years. I've worked in the college setting for a few years. Uh, right now, I own Flipside Fitness in Walpole, Massachusetts. And uh, right now, I'm going to run you through a hip flow series. All right, so I got Cam and Gabe here, and we're going to start with our uh, hip flow series. We'll just get you going here. You're going to be in the half nail position. Start with our left foot. Your left foot will be forward. Drive that foot through the ground. Our back leg, our hips are going to be squared. And all you're going to do here is squeeze your butt in the back and drive that hip forward. You want to hold it for about three seconds, and then you're going to release that. And you're going to repeat that three to five times. So you're squeezing that butt, driving that hip forward, pushing that front foot through the ground. Make sure our hips are nice and square towards us. Three to five times. And then from there, we're going to take our hand and we're going to reach it right through our leg. And this idea is to just kind of warm up that hip joint. All you're going to do is on your own, rock forward. You're going to rock backwards, side to side, forward. All you're really doing here is just trying to get that hip nice and warmed up. And the idea of this is it should take you five minutes and you should be able to flow through each movement right into each other. From here, you're gonna take that leg, kick it out to the side, keep those hips pointed forward again, and all you're gonna do here is push your butt back, trying to keep your spine nice and straight, and then drive back up. Nice, slow, controlled movements. When you get to that end range, you wanna drive that hip forward. We're gonna push our ass back. Again, important part here, you're keeping your spine nice and straight. I should be able to have a stick on it and that stick's not gonna fall off. And we're gonna drive forward. You're gonna repeat that about three to five times. We'll bring that leg back in. And from here, what you're gonna do is fall into a pigeon. You're just gonna let this leg gradually fall down like you're gonna sit onto that knee, get onto that hip. That back leg, you wanna to try to get that aligned to where my hips are facing square towards the ground. And right now, I don't have the best flexibility because I'm an old guy, but these young guys over here should be able to get yourself down and kind of feel that hip open up. All you wanna do on this one is hold yourself for about three to five breaths. Nice big inhale, nice long exhale, just kind of hang here for a bit. And when you kick out of this, all you're gonna do is bring your leg back. We'll get into a push-up. We're gonna control it down to the ground all the way. We're gonna push our hips into the ground, thighs through the ground, and you're just gonna push your chest off the ground. And then we're gonna come back down. We're gonna push all the way up. We're gonna walk our hands all the way up to our toes. And then we're just gonna rise up and stand. And now we're ready to go get after it in our drills with Walshy. Okay, first drill we're gonna do is called the box drill. Very important that you're in your goaltender stance throughout the drill. Okay, you try to isolate your hands, your head, and your shoulders. Hockey stick will help you isolate your hands as you go through this drill. Up. Don't let those feet come together. Don't let those feet come together. Stay low. Good. Stay low. Don't let those feet come together. Low, low. Feet together. Don't let them come. Don't let them come. Go again. Go again. Forward. Side. Back. There you go. Nice job. 
And of course, you can do this in the opposite direction. Uh, again, keys are 45 degree knee bend, hands isolated, head and shoulders isolated. Next drill is our third drill, and this is an aggressive gap drill. Okay, simulates you rushing out on your angle as a goaltender. Uh, again, we're looking for you to isolate your head, shoulders, and hands. We will use the stick again to demonstrate. Now we'll start to pick it up on that second time through, second time through a little faster. There you go, stay under control, feet under control, good center of gravity, keep those hands up, limit that stick from moving. Good. There you go, back pedal, good. There you go, focus on getting to that cone and back, cone and back, good. Nice work, keep those hands up, hands up. Nice job. Good job. Second half of this drill is where we actually go around the cone and come back backwards as if we were skating backwards. Keep those eyes up, keep the eyes up. There you go. Keep those feet under control, under control. Keep the feet with you. There you go. Keep your feet with you. Under control. Under control. Fast or smooth. There we go. Smooth. Good foot. Try to keep your head, eyes straight. Eyes straight. Don't look back. Don't look back. Straight ahead. Don't look back. Straight ahead. There you go. Good Great job. job, Gabe. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video this week. If you did, please like, subscribe, share.